Mike Knight returned to Mikey Stadium, defeated Dartmouth 60-6, and then took on Duke. Mid-October, saw the game between Army and Duke. Duke Blue Devils, Devils Inferno in Durham, North Carolina. It was Duke's homecoming. The Blue Devils were undefeated and leading the Atlantic Coast Conference. After being upset by Army in one of the great games of 1953, the Duke team was fired up for this one, both literally and figuratively. After a scoreless first quarter, Joe Sigler intercepts a Duke aerial and returns it to the Duke 40. With Russ Miracle directing the second unit, Fred Canarium goes off tackle for seven yards. And the way the cadets are playing today is a great tribute to their fine coaching staff. An inside handoff to Sigler gets a first down with the Duke 25. Miracle on a keep goes to the Blue Devil 15. Yes, the cadets have come a long way from the opening day loss to South Carolina. And now an inside handoff to Pete Lash. And Pete dashes over for the touchdown for Army. Minutes later, Pete Van fakes and fires a long pass to All-America Don Hollander, who has outdistanced the secondary, and the play consummates a 58-yard maneuver. Mike Ziegler on a handoff this time, blasts over for Army's second touchdown, and the Cadets lead 14 to nothing at halftime. Army receiving as we bring you more Duke Army game highlights. And Mike Ziegler takes the kickoff, brings the ball out to the cadet 42-yard line as the second half gets underway. The cadet line opens a hole for Pat Hubel, and it's a 15-yard advance. Aided by an excellent block by Bell, Ziegler sprints outside to the Blue Devil 25. It's Jubal again, this time slashing off left tackle to the Duke 15-yard line. Pete Van directing the attack, gives it to Tommy Bell, who weaves his way to the one. At that point, Pete Van sneaks across for the touchdown. Ralph Chesnowskis tries the conversion, and it's Army 21, Duke nothing. Later in the third period, Duke moves as Pascal takes a pitch out from quarterback Jerry Barger on the option and runs to the Army 45-yard line. A penalty moves the ball to the 30. Then Barger, on the option again, pitches to speedy Bernie Blaney, who dazzles with a 28-yard run for Duke's first score. In the fourth quarter, after a penalty and short kick, it's Duke's Bob Pascal advancing the ball to the Army seven-yard line. Line plunges get only a yard, but an option pitch to Pascal and the subsequent placement closes the gap. Army 21, and now it's Duke 14. After the ensuing kickoff is downed on the five, Tommy Bell with fine blocking at the point of attack and a fine downfield block by Johnson turns it on. Look at him go. He fades the safety man, sprints 84 yards to the Duke 12. hands to Pat Hubel. He smashes to the one-yard line. That sets it up for Pete himself to sneak over as the Black Knights knock Duke from the ranks of the undefeated 28-14. A great Army victory. 